Hey, hey, Tony Gaskins here, just popping in. You know, it's something that I want to share with you. Something that has really been a blessing to my life. And in that, it's been not just focusing on money and not just focusing on myself, but always looking for an opportunity to give opportunity to serve it has really blessed and enriched my life and a lot of times we don't know where or how or when we can serve but there's always an opportunity you can look up soup kitchens in your city and go serve at that soup kitchen even if it requires taking off a couple hours from work to go serve. You never know what's gonna happen through that. You can find nonprofit organizations, girls' homes, boys' homes, domestic violence shelters, and go serve, go volunteer. You never know what'll come from that. I remember when I first started serving not first started serving, but when I first started serving this particular sports team, I was working with the team and in working with that team, that year that I served free of charge, the Lord increased my revenue in my business by 400%. And just being associated with that team in other ways and just meeting other people and getting other opportunities probably brought in another over $20,000. And the meter is still running just because of the different connections and associations and, and just the opportunity, how it blessed my life, it built my resume, it added to me. And I remember even, even me serving at a discount, meaning... I'll coach at a rate far less than what I'm supposed to be charging, but I'll meet some of the coolest people in my one-on-one -on -one sessions. I'll meet people that I could actually do business with and just serving. Like, you never know. There's no promises in the sense of, well, there's promises. Because like the Bible say, give. And it'll be given back to you, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. And that's a universal law. And I just have seen so much come from giving, from serving, and just from being open and obedient and willing to give and to serve. And God is just good. He is good in that way. And I'm telling you, you know, you really got to get to a place to where you start looking how you can give. And no gift is too small. You could have a pair of shoes that's old and beat up to you. But them shoes be saving grace for somebody's feet. You could have a car that you feel like is a piece of junk. But you could find somebody who need that car same with your clothes same with with your time and it's good to serve and if you got kids teach them how to serve teach them to give find just different ways i remember when i would always if i had cash i would always roll down my window and give a dollar or give whatever i got sometimes five dollars and it taught my son my oldest son, he saw that. It taught him to give. So he came to the point one time, he asked, he, he asked, he said, can we just put a sign on our car that says we have money? Ask us. He wanted to give at the light. And he just, when I give him the opportunity to give, he want to give and he want to and he want to give abundantly and I, I wish i could start something right now i just don't have the capacity really and then it's hard to trust people because it's something to where i don't necessarily want to 
be selling, reselling the stuff, but I was in my home office and my wife had a bunch of white garbage bags full of shoes and clothes from my sons. And some of these shoes and clothes, this is $100, $150 Nikes that look brand new. Now, yeah, I could put a, I could set up an eBay store and resell them. But I'm thinking about, I might just set up me a little thrift store just with my family stuff that we get rid of. And some of the stuff be, you know, real nice. But it just, it just go to show me like, we all got something. Like they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. And we got to get to this place to where what's going to unlock your heart. And this is one of the things that I see that humans are struggling with. And that's giving. Humans are so selfish. And a lot of humans don't realize that when a lot of, a lot of the people in my circle... They don't realize that the reason why I'm blessed is because of having a servant and a giver's heart. Like, people don't understand, you know, and sometimes people don't, they, they be focused on themselves. But this is how I do. I have a family member that I'm already being a blessing to to the tune of about $3,000 a month. Reach out to me and say, hey, need some money. And I'll say, Lord, if it's your will, then let it be done. And from my ministry, somebody may bless me at that very moment. And then I'm able to bless somebody who in need. And that's how I look at it. You know, and I, and I got beyond... And it, and it was times in my life, like, it's times to where there are times that I want to be selfish. There's times that I'm like, man, let me be selfish. Let me be nasty. And I'm just like, my heart won't let me. Like, I just got done. And I recommend if you're in a position to do it. I'm not even all the way in the position to do it, but I just booked the Airbnb for Thanksgiving. You know, it's it's probably an hour, hour and a half away from me, but just so that my family, for one, it's a few reasons why I booked it. For one, so my wife don't have to clean up, meaning so that she don't have to get our house spotless. Because you know, as a woman, if you finna have friends and family over, you want everything to be spotless. But our schedule is so busy, we don't get the time to be spotless. So that's for one, save my wife some, some time and all of that because, I'm, you know, I'm working, I'm not gonna get the time. So if she ain't got the time, then I know I ain't gonna have the time. And a lot of people don't understand that, but when you get in that position, where your life is that busy, then you'll understand it. But that's for one. Two, so everybody could come together. And in Kissimmee, Florida, Reunion, Florida, Orlando, Florida, Davenport, Florida, they got the most amazing Airbnbs because it's close to Disney. So they get a rooms a theme. So if you got kids, grandkids, they'll just be an amazing little environment and they got in inside of the house they got pool table foosball table gaming centers arcade games theater with the big chairs all of that and so i got you know i just know the family and the kids will have a good time now guess what i ain't all the way got it i did the two payment plan you know, where you pay a little bit right now, and then I have to pay a little bit, I think I think it said November 7th. I ain't all the way got it. But I say, I'm going to step out here, and I'm going to trust God, because I know I will have it before they have it. I know God bless me, and he'll honor my heart and what I'm trying to do, because bringing my family together 
which families, you know, we have splinters in our family sometimes. That's ministry. So if you could create an environment to bring your family together, whether, whether it be your place or Airbnb or whatever, that's ministry. And so I want you to understand giving could be any kind of way. If you come on here and you see the spammers, the scammers in the comments, and you hit report, report their account, that's that's serving. Because you're not on payroll to do that. And there's people who do that. They take a screenshot. They email me. Tell me that's serving. That's serving. Because I don't have the staff to go monitor that and and you know do that some people will be they'll go and leave a comment hey this is this person is a scammer do not reach out to this person if you see that and you do that that's serving you could serve at your church you could serve i, I seen on the news well a lady she taking she just buy a bunch of loaves of bread and some packs of meat and she taking make sandwiches herself and go give them out to the homeless. Now, in some places that's illegal, which is weird that we so nasty and selfish in America that we make giving to somebody who, on hard times, illegal. I'm like, huh? how is not helping them going to make the situation any better? I guess they think if you go to helping them, they're going to stay out there and have no reason to get better, but we just nasty, boy just show you the sin we live in like the bible i'm reading you know in the book of john and what jesus talking about giving to the poor and helping the poor and it just it's just sad how we are but i'm telling you that service that giving it's gonna stretch your mind and you're gonna go from a scarcity mindset to an abundant mindset you got to go to an abundant mindset you got to and when you go to that abundant mindset, mm, 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 mm. listen to me, your life is going to be forever changed. Because you got to realize, in order to have an abundant mindset, your mind has to stretch. So when your mind stretches, it never returns to its original form. So what you have to realize is when your mind stretches, you're also going to have more ideas for your business. You're also going to think of more streams of income. You're also going to see more opportunity because your eyes are open wider. Your mind is open wider. See, when you, when you are in a scarcity mindset, you have tunnel vision. You can't even see opportunity. You can't see blessings. You can't see your spouse because you got tunnel vision. You so focused on yourself and being so selfish and so self-centered that your head is not on a swivel. You're not in expectation of open doors and opportunity and blessings because you so focused on woe is me. And that woe is me, it keeps you in a state of woe is me. But when you stretch your mind, you open your mind, now you're in a place where you can receive. Now you can see. When your head is up with a smile on your face, opportunity come to you. Listen to me. It's so much I could share that as a witness and a testimony, but... I don't like doing it because it offends the people with a scarcity mindset. Like, oh, you brag. Oh, you want to do it? Brag. Oh, you want to do it? Brag. I boast in the Lord. But I'm telling you, start giving. Start serving. Start sowing. Anyway, anywhere, anyhow. And watch what the Lord do in your life. Watch what happens. Hey, this is Tony Gaskin. God bless you. We'll talk soon.